Hello, welcome back guys, Florian Schaeffer here with a video about feeder search in Panda Power. So imagine you have a radial network like this one here, the MV Oberrhein grid, and in this grid you have um, different feeders, and those feeders are being connected to the external grid, so the upper voltage level, and but they are separated by different transformers, so you have different areas, and those areas here can be found with the topology package in Panda Power, and this is what we're gonna do now. The tutorial we're gonna go through is already included on our website as well, so pandapower.org, click on getting started, go to the interactive tutorials, scroll down a little bit, and there you will find um, some plotting functions or some informations about that. And if you scroll down, the tutorial and the code can be found here. So this is what we're gonna do now in our coding environment. This feeder plotting is a little bit advanced, so we need some more stuff than just Panda Power. We also need the Panda Power um, plotting functions to visualize the feeders in the end. Then we need the topology package so we can find the buses which are being connected. We need an example grid, in our case the NV Oberrhein grid. And what we also will need is the matplotlib uh, pi plots to show the plots in the end. And what is nice but not exactly mandatory are nice colors, for example, here from Seaborn. Okay, so to get the grid, um, we just use the MV Oberrhein grid, as I've already said, and this can be visualized simply by using the simple plot function. So calling pp pl um, simple plot, we have here the grid shown on the right side. So this is a medium voltage grid, which has some open ring connections and some transformers separating different areas, which are not shown here because this one just shows you the, the buses, the lines, and the external grids here uh, in this grid. Okay, so this does not give you much information, and to get more information out of it, we're gonna use the topology package. So first, we have to create a network X graph for this net, and we have to specify now some no-go buses, and those no-go buses are defined by the transformer low voltage buses, or the transformer um, high voltage buses. So here we create a graph which is separate as so a graph for this net, which is separated at each transformer bus. So now we have in this area, uh, for example, four uh, in this multigraph, four different areas because we have uh, four transformers here. Okay. Um, to visualize them in different colors, we get. Uh, some 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 colors from from Seaborn here, and we will add them to a list of collections. We're gonna draw in the end, and we get those collections by iterating over um, the multigraph here or the areas in this multigraph. Okay, so for each area we want to have, want to have a different color. So we use zip here. Um, and find with the topology package all the connected components in this multigraph and want to give it uh, a different color each. Okay, so um, now we append to this list of collections here and uh, the area, or let's say we append uh, a bus collections for this area, so we create for this net and this area, uh, each area a different bus collection with a different color. To have um, the right size for the buses, we can use this convenience function here, for example, um, um, get collection sizes for this net, which is practically a dict, which includes a different size values for the buses because the, the positions of the buses depend on the geodata in the grid and they would be scaled differently. So we use here um, the collection sizes from this function. Okay, th that's practically it. So we can already um, um, draw the collections, uh, draw collections. So we want to draw these collections. We append here in this loop and show them in the end and what we will have now is not just this blue plot here, but a plot with the different areas or the buses of the different areas shown in color. So red, orange, blue, and, and green here. But we're missing the line at the moment. 
but practically this is what the topology search gives us okay now to get the lines also plotted we have to find the indices of the lines which are connected to the buses in in this area so the area contains all the buses and this can be achieved for example by checking if the from bus is in this area or the to bus of all the lines is in this area this is a pandas function here and then we select the part of the line data frame with those line indices and then we practically um, can just uh, append another collection for each line so we create a line collection in this net for those lines with the same color and if we plot that now we don't have just the buses but now also lines between the buses so we don't have just this but also this which is nice and now maybe one last thing is that we could uh, create a collection for the external grid with the size the typical size of the external grid here and then you will see that here we have the external grids the different areas red green orange and blue with the lines being connected and that's it i hope that little trick with the topology search and the plotting was useful for you if you have any more questions or ideas what we could visualize and search for feel free to ask and write a comment